In this video, I'm going to walk you through the exact steps you need to take to get started as a digital nomad family. I'm literally going to share my entire blueprint with you, so make sure you tune in and pay attention. It's taken me 10 years to figure this out and perfect it. So stop whatever you're doing right now and take notes. In the last three videos, I talked about why the PSE pillars to peak enjoyment is the best way to achieve a sustainable and fulfilled digital nomad life. And I showed you how not only your preparation, but also your mindset will lead you to the next steps towards becoming a digital nomad family. And I also showed you how to make a decision if the creation of an online business is for you and how to find it out and that this is part of the second pillar. But there's so much more to it. In case you haven't watched the first three videos yet, make sure you do that right now because they are filled with a ton of gold nuggets and practical information that shows you how you can get started right now. So with that being said, let's just jump right into the other two pillars of the PSE pillars to peak enjoyment, sustain and enjoy. This is the exact roadmap that I use and all my clients use to overcome their fears and get out of their comfort zone, to be able to live and travel to anywhere they want fast. Step number one is your mindset. Even before we look at what the individual pillars might look like, you'll want to focus on shifting your limiting beliefs from maybe one day or I can't right now and turn them into absolute yeses. I will do this. This is the overall secret sauce which will make this a hit or miss. Okay, great. Once you have that and the preparation phase ticked off, which is by the way covering all your burning questions that you have before you even start your travel life. This is so crucial because it will actually help you to set up for success. Then in the second pillar, you focus on how to sustain this lifestyle from a very practical point of view. In other words, we talk about money here. If you want to make the most of your digital nomad life, so it doesn't end up being a longish holiday that you have to put an end to, you need to find a way to make it last. In this pillar, we'll talk about your options and I'll share tools and tips to help you decide whether you are the freelance type or you are ready to start your own online business. Did you find the Pathfinder tool on my previous video useful? That's great. In pillar two, we will dig deeper and look into what you already have, those transferable skills you can take to your future digital career what skills you need to strengthen, what you enjoy doing, and what you have always wanted to do amongst other things. Are you a brilliant self-starter? Do you love managing a team? The thought of creating your website puts you into a panic. You've always wanted to teach your passion or something really good at, but you never dared. Nothing is off limits. Remember, this pillar is about learning more about yourself and turning that knowledge into a clear plan you can build your professional life on. I say professional, but I'm sure that by now you have realized everything is connected. We need to get you in a good place financially to allow you to do the things you want to do outside of work, to give you your family the life you've dreamt of. It's all one big life change, but we need to land it on specific steps. That's exactly what the pillars do. And lastly, the third pillar is what most people skip or think they'll figure it out later. The part where you get to enjoy the actual digital nomad life with your family. Do you want to move to a new country only to realize your kids can't join the local school or have missed an important exam or to deal with the stress of your children not adapting to the new home you have rented out. And of course, the pressure that can put on your relationship as a couple. Your new life can expose you to many changes all at once that you have to handle in a completely new and unknown environment, maybe even painfully jet-lagged. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to at least have a plan so you can predict and control as much of that uncertainty as possible. See, there are so many new challenges and situations that you'll find yourself in that a good preparation will help you to address these with the right attitude and a solution-oriented approach. Because there's nothing worse than 
making it all the way to your new dream destination and then it all fails because your family or your spouse and you can't handle the new life setting. This is where the third pillar comes in, bringing practical, easy to apply tips to the picture so you can navigate these new challenges. From how to get your kids to adapt to their new schooling, to how to work as a team with your partner or even how to turn your new rented apartment into a new home in record time. All of this and a lot more is covered in my upcoming course Life by Design. With the PSE pillars you will be able to go anywhere you want and live how you want with your family and I'll show you in detail how to prepare yourself, create an online business and live the day-to-day -day life as a digital nomad couple. You can literally watch over my shoulders as I walk you through all of this and you can just follow along and implement it step by step. So make sure you're on the lookout for when my Life by Design course launches because this is literally the best information I've ever released. In the next video, I'll walk you through a detailed case study that shows you how fast you can get results once you've implemented the three pillars to peak enjoyment. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.